title, Biofuels, From Sorghum to Ethanol. A field with sorghum plants. My name is Kobus and I'm the general manager here at Dolby Biorefinery in Dolby. The refinery is seen in the distance. The Dolby plant was built in Dolby specifically for the reason of the abundance of sorghum in the area. The plant was commissioned in December 2008 and it is the first and the only sorghum plant in Australia at this stage. Bags of sorghum stacked together. The advantages of using sorghum is are cheaper than corn in Australia. If we run at uh, about 50% of production, in a month's time we will use between seven and 10,000 ton of uh, sorghum. From a ton of sorghum, we make between 375 litres to 395 litres ethanol. Ethanol production is uh, a complex process. Primarily what we do, we buy a sorghum. We buy a sorghum for one reason and that reason is starch. And we convert starch into a glucose, and glucose we convert into a ethanol. Unfortunately, there are a lot of steps involved from going from raw sorghum to just making a ethanol inside the fermentation. Once we buy the sorghum, the first thing we do is we run through that to the quality standard of our sorghum. Because it's very interesting to know how much starch you're getting out from the sorghum. Once we finish this test, that goes into the silo. So if you look at it, there are a couple of silos here, and each silos are uh, holding 1,200 ton. Once we store the sorghum in the, in the silos, then it goes into the process. Now what we do, we transfer that sorghum via different conveyors inside the grinding section. We do a grinding of the sorghum and we follow a certain criteria that how much sorghum needs to be going into the powder form. So we achieve that by using the hammer mill and we convert that sorghum into a powder form. Once that convert into the powder form, what we do, we mix that with the water. The main reason we mix it with the water is to actually hydrolyze the starch. That's why we actually put the 85 degree water inside the tank to pretty much kill the bacteria that comes with the sorghum and at the same time, we hydrolyze the starch. The water that we use is all recycled water that we get from the council, and then we clean the water up through our reverse osmosis plant, and we use it in the system, in the process. So now we went from a hydrolysis process to an enzymatic process. We use a two enzymes in order to convert that starch into a simpler form of glucose and then it goes into the fermentation process. Uh, we have a glucose and what we do, we add the yeast with the fermentation and yeast convert the glucose into CO2 and the ethanol. So now we have a fermentation which has alcohol, which we call ethanol, and the rest of the things that remain or comes out from the sorghum, which is the protein, fiber, fat, it's all sitting in a dissolved form in the fermentation and the husk and the rest of them which is in a suspended solid. This fermenter, we take it into the distillation where we distill the fermenter and convert that into a pure alcohol. And we recover the alcohol from there at 93% strength. That alcohol, we put it through a dehydration where we actually take a water molecule out from ethanol and convert into 100% pure alcohol. The rest of the product that comes out from the distillation that we run through the decanters, where we convert that two products into two byproducts, which one we call as a WDGS and the syrup. WDGS is a simpler form. The complex form is wet distiller grain with a soluble. And syrup is just the dissolved solid that we recover from the decanter that we concentrate from 10% solid to 30% solid in evaporation by using the waste energy that generated into the plant or into the distillation unit. We have just installed a dryer which uh, dried a product because the wet cake shelf life is about seven days. 
and the dryer reduces the water content from 68% to 10%. We used 1,200 gigajoules of gas a day, a million liters of water a day, uh, 2,500 kilowatt of electricity a day. In Australia, we haven't uh, actually latched on to the importance of the ethanol. The importance of it is a clean burning and is better for the environment, it's better for people. Efficiency in the motor vehicle, uh, if you look at it, it is 95 octane, where a normal ULP is 91 octane. So uh, you get a better performance out of it. On uh, the price basis and usage, it comes out over a long period, it's uh, about on par.